All right, I had somebody ask me to do a video on uh, flywheels. Uh, light ones, heavy ones, when to use them, when not to use them, and uh, what they do. So I'll try to give you what I know about it, and if you uh, have any flywheel knowledge in the Volkswagen world, you know, add a comment to this video. And I'm sure the person that uh, asked me to make this video will appreciate it. So uh, the question was about a light flywheel. What are the benefits or the uh, pros and cons? And uh, one of the benefits of a light flywheel is the motor will accelerate quicker. Uh, you do lose some crankshaft inertia. That means the uh, time that the motor stays up. If you're doing a lot of uh, driving on the road, when you let off the gas, it accelerates quicker and it will accelerate quicker with a light flywheel. Uh, Light flywheels tend to be used uh, drag racing. You know, most guys will order their uh, aftermarket crankshaft with an eight dowel uh, flywheel and it'll be lightened. There's a couple different types of lightened flywheels. Uh, this is an MP. This is a chrome molly version. I know SCAT has them. Uh, stay away from the cast versions. Uh, the centers break out of them right here. I've seen that more than once and uh, it's never good when that happens. There's a lot of load on this flywheel and uh, when you cut it down and lighten it, uh, it has uh, not a lot of uh, chance uh, if it's not lightened properly. You can cut through right here and I've seen them break. So you wanna make sure that it's not over lightened. 13 pounds is a you know, pretty decent flywheel. Uh, Chrome Molly again. If you have a four down crank, uh, you have to be careful with a light flywheel to be more prone to come off the motor. Uh, this is a stock German four dowel uh, flywheel, four dowel pins instead of eight. Uh, if you're gonna use a, a light four dowel flywheel, which is not recommended, uh, always incorporate a chrome molly nut with a heavy duty washer. So you have a little more clamping load than factory. I always recommend the aftermarket uh, washer and nut, uh, no matter what kind of flywheel you use, if you're gonna do any kind of performance. You know, if you're planning on running your car higher, harder, uh, doing burnouts, uh, adding power, you need to upgrade that nut. Uh, the stock nuts torque to 250 foot-pounds, I believe, and I think we go close to 500 foot-pounds with the uh, forged flame-cut Berg nut that we usually use. This nut here is a uh, scat, I do believe. I don't really like these because the nut circumference is larger than 36 millimeters and it can interfere with the clutch disc. Uh, there's a couple different people out there that manufacture the uh, chrome molly nut with the aftermarket washer uh, in the standard size. So look for one of those. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, what we're going to get from the light flywheel is uh, quicker acceleration of the rotating assembly. Anytime you lighten up the uh, engine mass, it's going to rotate quicker and it's going to decelerate quicker. Uh, the motor will stay up and uh, generate more seat of the pants torque with a heavy flywheel and it's less prone to uh, come off if the crank is not eight doweled. Uh, usually I don't try to lighten the flywheel unless the crank's been uh, eight doweled because uh, it's never good when that flywheel leaves the back of the motor. So. Uh, there are some benefits uh, as far as the cons, you know, you can get the, the motor a little light uh, depending on your rotating assembly and sometimes you have to add a little weight to the uh, front of the motor. That's another benefit of having a light flywheel. A lot of guys will lighten the flywheel and add the uh, eight pound pulley at the other end of your drag racing and it helps uh, balance out the harmonics on the crankshaft instead of having all the weight at one end. you can. Uh, put weight at both ends and it helps the uh, bearing life quite a bit. That's why on uh, most all my motors that are my personal engines, you'll see the uh, heavy balancer on there. And what that does is it gives it a little better dampening and a little better uh, bearing life. Empy uh, makes a copy of the Berg pulley like that now and uh, it complements the uh, light flywheel quite nicely and it lets you uh, spread the weight out on the crank uh, per se if you're uh, in a racing situation but for the bang of the buck if you got an eight dial crank and you can put a light flywheel on there you definitely will get a little snap in your acceleration if you do a lot of highway driving <clears throat> you're probably going to want to just stay with your heavy flywheel 
you know, we're gonna do a lot of stoplight to stoplight, uh, quick accelerating. If you have a close box transmission, uh, you know, the power will be more snappy and it'll be more quick revving. It'll be more linear with the heavier uh, rotating assembly and the heavier flywheel. Both of them are good. Uh, both of them have drawbacks. The, uh, the main drawback of the heavy flywheel is it tends to normally be four dowel, you know, and you can only have so much performance with the four dowel uh, crank and flywheel before you have issues with the crank and flywheel uh, separating. So uh, I've never really seen a, a downside to a lightened flywheel other than if it's lightened in properly, you know, uh, you want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, nice. The Berg ones in the old days used to be real rounded off. This uh, MP one is straight cut and it's uh, it's not bad, but it's not great, you know. And again, make sure you get the chrome molly one. Don't don't sacrifice for the uh, 4150 uh, cast steel one. That will not hold up. The center will break out and uh, or worse, the flywheel will explode. So uh, I hope that covers the flywheels. If you guys got any more to add to that, please uh, put it on this video. And uh, yeah, that's it on the flywheel thing.